Hey everybody, it's me, Nicole Rivera from the Stop Writing Alone podcast and here on the MV Rivera YouTube channel, sharing writing prompts for you all year round because this year we are all taking on the challenge of writing 52 short stories in 52 weeks. So I'm kind of obsessed with writing prompts, you know that already, and this year they're very much on my mind. So how excited was I last week when I opened my mailbox and saw this? The March 2022 issue of Writer Magazine is 50 plus writing prompts to keep you inspired all year round. Hello, that's what I'm always looking for. So I figured this week we would use this as our inspiration. This way you can take a sneak peek into the issue if you don't have it yourself and maybe go run out and get it if you want it. So they have, uh, it's here on page 34, a year worth of inspiration. And how they separated the article is by season. So for each season, there are four different sections. Three of them are writing exercises and one is the um, seasonal reads. So they have seasonal reads where they give you two to three books for each season to dive into just to be inspired um, for your writing. But then the writing exercises are broken into three different categories. There's personal writing exercises, which are kind of like journal type entries, I would think, or personal essay type of writing. Professional, which is really to keep you focused on your profession as a writer and the things that you want to, you know, keep an eye on the prize, really, as you go through the entire year. And then there are the jump starts, which are essentially the types of things that we're looking at week after week, jumping, jump starting us into a fictional story. So what I thought I would do for you this week is just read one of each of those for the winter season. This way you can get a taste of what type of things are being offered in this article and see if it's something that you wanted to use, but also use that jump start for our story this week. So I think the others may help inspire uh, the story as well. So for personal, and I'm just gonna read number one in each section. For personal, they listed uh, number one, write about a memory that epi epitomizes cozy for you. What makes this memory feel so warm and snug? What concrete details can you add to make the scene feel lushly atmospheric on the page? It's that last bit there that what concrete details can you add to make the scene lushly uh, atmospheric on the page that is really gonna feed us as fiction writers as well. Because I love doing any activity that helps us dive into memory. There's one exercise that I've done with writers many times where I focus on food and just make sure that we, we write a story that, that has us thinking about our favorite foods or a meal because there's so many senses that are involved with those memories and those um, those activities that we have. And I love this idea of cozy. It's kind of got that same feeling that it's easy for us to remember that the details matter when we are trying to tell a story like that. And then what makes those things pop off the page and come so vividly alive, even though they're old memories, are those details. And as writers, if we can remember that and bring that same skill to our fiction, then we are truly winning. So um, yeah, I think that's a great exercise to take on at any time. Also just fun to have a memory captured on the page like that. So I think uh, I love that that's how they started off this whole, um, this whole article, really. Uh, for professional, number one, makes sense starting off the year. What's the first thing that the Writer Magazine wants us to look at professionally? Well, they say take time in the first quarter of the year, which we are still in, <laughs> to sort out your goals for 2022. How would you like to organize the year's intentions and deadlines? By month, by seasons, by first half and second? Then ask, what would you like to accomplish and when? What tools and resources would help you hit your targets? What steps can you take in winter that will set you up for success all year long. So again, even though we are near the end of quarter two, you can still do this for your, I'm sorry, near the end of quarter one, about to start quarter two. Um, you can still get started on this. You can either do it for the entire year of 2022, or you can say, all right, I'm gonna start in Q2. But it's a really great idea whenever we have goals to set those deadlines, to really think concretely about what we want to do and when we want to accomplish it. So it's a great exercise to do or on all different aspects of our lives. But of course, here we're talking about our writing life, our professional life, 
get it down on paper, get, um, get really real about what you want to do. But Let's talk about what we are often here for every single week, and that is our fictional stories. Let's jumpstart into fiction. The first jumpstart that the Writer Magazine offers for us is snow. <laughs> they say snow isn't just pretty to look at. It can be a powerful, fu- it can be a powerful fuel for a plot engine, too. Imagine a character who wants something desperately, but a sudden snowstorm throws a wrench in their plans. Are they headed to accept a stunning career-changing award and a blizzard cancels their flight? Is a trip to labor and delivery periled by an unexpected whiteout? It's two pages. (laughs) Is your protagonist suddenly snowbound with their worst enemy? The choice is yours. Just make sure that the stakes feel high and crystal clear to both the reader and the characters. So there's our story for the week. We want to do something where we are either snowbound or snow is stomping us, the storms. I mean, I love weather stuff, so this is fantastic. You want to really um, dive into details here and make sure that the stakes are high so we can tap into our exercise from last week about raising the stakes as the snowstorm hits. As our character is feeling so excited about whatever it is they want to do, you can tap into the professional exercise that you just did, thinking about the goals and deadlines that you've set up for yourself for the year and think what would happen if a snowstorm came in and stopped me from uh, getting all of my dreams and just remember all of the importance of the details and the sensory input and everything that you did in your cozy personal essay and put it all together for one great story this week about snow being a problem. I love it. So uh, as you can see, it goes on to spring and the same thing. They have the seasonal reads and they have the personal, professional, and the jump starts um, for every single season. So it could be a great thing to have on your shelf to tap into. The thing is, don't just get one of these magazines, throw it on your shelf and not use it. See what happened here. I got the magazine and we're using it already. If we buy these things and we don't use them, it does nothing for us. We want to grow, grow, grow as writers. So we have to use the tools that we, um, that we purchase and enjoy. We buy them for a reason. So let's put them to work. So I just want to end off this uh, video this week with a great big invitation to next week's free week of happy campers. Next week, I'm showing up all week at 6 p.m. Eastern on Zoom for community to basically have all of the wonderful types of meetings that I love to have with writers. On Monday, we're going to have a goal and accountability meeting um, just to set up our goals for that week and say, what do I want to have accomplished by the end of the week? On Tuesday, we're going to have a write-in so that we can get some stuff accomplished. So for one hour, we're going to show up to write Uh, I will set a timer, we'll have sprints, we'll have light chat in between. And on Wednesday, we are going to have our casual chat where we just get to know each other, really get to know all the different writers that are in the Stop Running Alone community, share your goals and, you know, dreams. And maybe if you have any questions about where you are at in your writing career or just casual chat about what have you whatever comes up we've got an hour to just connect with other writers and then Thursday we're going to talk about critiquing because that is the entire theme of the spring happy campers is critique circles and critique partnerships that we do every single Thursday and Friday we will have our writing prompt party so you can come to one of those events you can come to all of those events they're all going to be at 6 p.m eastern for this week when happy campers launches officially in march for the the spring season of march and april the schedule will be set by the people who sign up so um if 6 p.m doesn't work for you right now uh that's something that can be determined later but i am going to put into the show description a link for you to sign up Not only for the email list to make sure that you get all the information about this, but also a link to sign up for the Stop Writing Alone Network and Mighty Networks, where all of these events will be shared throughout the week. Uh, And if you miss any, you will uh, be able to contact and see what we did right there. 
but I am really looking forward to it. This is my favorite time of year, having happy campers, having regular daily meetings with writers, and just uh, connecting and, and getting our projects done. Don't forget that April is a huge month for writers. There's so many different writing challenges out there for us. We have Camp NaNoWriMo, which challenges us to really do whatever big project we've had set before us and have uh, you know a community base around it. If you're a poet, you've got uh, National Poetry Month is April, so you have um, Napo Rimo, they have their website set up with prompts every single day. If you're a blogger, there's the uh, the A through Z blogging challenge that happens every single April. So that's a fantastic place to um, to connect with other bloggers. But what we do in Happy Campers is that we all connect together, regardless of what our genre or category of writing is, to just support each other in our profession of showing up to write. Uh, I do believe the 100 day challenge will be starting sometime within that time as well. And that's, uh, you know, uh, well, is it the 100 day project? I called it the 100 day challenge. The 100 day project, which is for all creatives to start on any uh, creative endeavor and just commit to it for 100 days days. So many different things that you could be doing, but I uh, like to give a support system of writers supporting writers throughout all of that. And that is what ha Happy Campers is all about. That's what inspired Happy Campers. And if you want to get a taste for what it is like next week, all free, all week, Monday through Friday, uh, one hour each. I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to um, be with everybody and uh, get some goals set and accomplished get some writing done, and then uh, celebrate at the end of the week with a, a fabulously fun writing prom party. But that is it for this week. Have fun writing your snow story. I will talk to you again next Friday, hopefully in the Happy Campers meeting. But if not, I will also be here on the YouTube like I am every week sharing another prompt for you. Happy writing. It's time to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss another video and stop writing alone by joining the Mighty Network's Stop Writing Alone Network to find your writing peeps today. Also, let's not forget where this all started in the Stop Writing Alone podcast, anywhere you listen to podcasts, including this YouTube channel. One more reason to subscribe now.